Born to be wild! I have always been a huge Star Trek fan. Playing Morn on Star Trek Deep Space Nine was for me a wish come true. It didn't matter to me whether Morn spoke or not, but when the Star Trek writers and producers decided to make Who Mourns for Morn, I knew that it was the biggest compliment that they could ever pay me. So when StarTrek.com asked me to write an article commemorating the 15 year anniversary of Who Mourns for Morn, I couldn't resist. Ever since I was a child, I dreamed of what it would be like to travel to the stars, imagined what it must be like to fly like Superman, marveled at the potential of the human mind, admired the indelible dynamism of the human spirit, the ingenuity of great thinkers, and the ability to overcome great obstacles and to achieve great things are like music for the soul. To explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before meant more to me than just a suggestion. When I saw Captain Kirk or the pointy-eared Mr. Spock on the television screen every week, I knew what it meant all right. I was ready for our adventure to the stars on a great starship capable of traveling light distances at warp speed and when it was over I was back in my living room somehow satisfied that I had experienced something. I'm not sure exactly what it was but I knew that I wanted more. For me playing Morn on Star Trek Deep Space Nine was more than just a job. It was an opportunity to live that dream and somehow participate in the modern mythology that is Star Trek, which has become such an integral part of our popular culture.